GG company provided the following. Direct materials of 1 pesos and 30 centavos. So, okay, ha? the clarification is this is on a per unit basis. Okay, so this is a per unit basis. So, direct materials is 1 peso and 30 centavos per unit. Direct labor is 1 pesos and 50 centavos per unit. And then variable overhead of 20 centavos per unit. But, ito yung crucial. Fixed overhead, 150,000 pesos. Divided by 150,000 units of normal volume. Okay? The question, bakit natin dinidivide sa number of budgeted units? Kasi, going back to the cost management one concept, Fixed overhead is an allocated cost. So, okay, ina-allocate lang natin siya sa units. Why? Because we cannot directly trace it to the product. So, that's why we only allocate it. So, kaya, 150,000 pesos divided by yung budgeted production of the company, which is 150,000 units, so equals 1 peso per unit. So, yun. So, in total, so lahat ng mga given, the total factory cost at standard is 4 pesos with a selling price at 5 pesos per unit. So, anong hinihingi sa atin? Ang hinihingi sa atin, we need to find the net income using absorption costing and variable costing. So, okay. Let's now go to the solution. Okay, hindi pa pala. Meron pang given. Selling and administrative expenses are as follows. So we have fixed administrative expense of 50,000 pesos and selling expense of 5% of sales. So siguro kinabahan kayo, di ba? So yun. Okay? So eto rin guys. I want to emphasize na pag ganitong problems, important yung nasa baba. So, dapat given, oh, for 2018, yung beginning inventory, so in units to. So, yung beginning inventory, zero. Yung pinoduce ni GG Company, 150,000 units. Sales of 100,000 units equals ending inventory of 50,000. So, okay. So, ang assumption natin, given na ang lahat. So, that's why we'll now go to our solution. Let's now go with absorption costing. So, ang nakikita nyo sa pinakataas, sales, di ba ang selling price, 5 pesos? And ilan yung nabenta? 100,000 units. So, the sales is 500,000 pesos. Cost of goods sold, 4 pesos. Okay? Ang assumption natin pag absorption costing, kasama yung 1 pesos na fixed overhead allocated sa cost of goods sold natin. Or kasama siya sa 4 pesos. So, going back kanina, di ba, sinama natin yung fixed overhead so, kaya, yung total factory cost at standard is 4 pesos. So, yun. So, that's why 4 pesos times 100,000 units equals 400,000. So, the gross profit of 100,000 pesos. We also have selling expense, which is variable. So, 5% of sales. So, that na nasolve natin. 500,000 times 5%. So, our selling expense is 25,000. And administrative expense, which is fixed, 50,000 pesos. So, our net income using absorption costing is 25,000 pesos. Okay? So, after this, we will now proceed to variable costing. But I want to emphasize the differences. Let's now go to variable. Okay. Sa variable costing, 
Kung makikita nyo, the same pa rin yung sales. So, 5 pesos times 100,000 units equals 500,000 pesos. However, tingnan nyo yung nasa baba. Less variable cost of goods sold. Okay? So, variable lang. So, kung nakikita nyo, 100,000 times 3 pesos. So, sa ang tanong, bakit 3 pesos lang? Ano yung nawala? Yung nawala dito, yung 1 pesos na fixed overhead. Okay? So, hindi natin sinama yung 1 pesos per unit na fixed overhead. Okay? So, that's why 100,000 units times 3 pesos so equals 300,000 pesos. And ang nakalagay ditong term is contribution margin. Okay? So anong Okay, so the contribution margin is 200,000 pesos. Okay. Tingnan niyo sa baba. Less selling expense 5% of sales. So the same lang kanina sa absorption 25,000 pesos. Administrative expense. So the same fix kasi di ba fix 50,000 pesos. But tingnan niyo yung nasa pinakababa. Ito yung difference pag variable costing. Yung, di ba, going back, yung co total cost ng fixed factory overhead, 150,000 pesos. Ang ginawa natin dito, inexpense natin siya. So, we treated it as an expense or a period cost. So, makikita nyo, merong difference sa net income. Or kaya iba yung net income. So, 200,000 minus 25,000 pesos minus 50,000 minus fixed manufacturing overhead of 150,000. So, our net income is negative 25,000. Okay. So, what will be the next? Ano yung next na i-discuss ko? Okay? So, diba, as you can see, kanina sa concept, we have emphasized that there is a possibility that the net income under absorption costing will be different from variable costing. So, okay. So, yun yung theory. But, we can reconcile the two. So, ang point ko, even if different ang net income under variable and absorption costing, there is a way for us to reconcile the two. So, how do we do it? Or ano yung kailangan nating gawin? So, going back, diba, the reason why there's a difference in net income for variable costing and absorption costing is because there is a difference between manufacturing or production, units produced, and units sold. So, okay. Kung makikita natin, di ba yung production natin, 150,000. Pero yung sales natin, 100,000 lang. Okay? So, in units to ha. So, production of 150,000 units Sales of 100,000 units. So, okay. Ang gagawin natin is to reconcile. Okay. So, nakikita natin yung reconciliation. So, yung nasa taas, net income under absorption costing. So, yung net income natin is 25,000. Okay. So, ang assumption natin, walang beginning inventory di ba walang beginning inventory so yung yung add fixed factory overhead zero yan okay and then less fixed factory overhead ending inventory kasi di ba ito yung yung 50,000 na to ito na yung difference ng production and sales so ito yung ito na yung difference kasi yung assumption Di ba may 50,000 na hindi na benta? Yung 50,000 na yun, mapupunta siya sa ending inventory. And we assume 
na sa 50,000 units na yun, under absorption costing, kasama ang fixed overhead. Okay? So, kung makikita natin, fixed factory overhead ending inventory, so 1 peso. So, ito yung uh, fixed overhead per unit times 50,000 units. So, ang ginawa natin in or binawat, dinedak natin. Okay? So, that's why the net income under variable costing is negative 25,000. Okay? This will be, so, last. Okay? Ano yung analysis natin? Or how do we interpret this? Okay? Yung 50,000 pesos na yan, sa absorption costing, ang ginawa natin, nilagay natin siya sa ending inventory. Pero, under variable costing, atong 50,000 na to, inexpense na to nat, inexpense na natin to. So that's why kung napapansin niyo, mas mababa ang net income under variable costing kasi ang assumption natin, yung 50,000 pesos na yan, inexpense na natin yan under variable costing. So okay? So that is the first case.